All right, a bit of a late video, not quite at one today, but they dropped this card, which I think is not worth your time at all. I know he's got good pace, he's got decent shooting and great dribbling, things like that, but for the amount of coins you're gonna have to put into this, unless you just have done every single objective possible and just have so much fodder, they have no idea what to do with it, I don't think this is worth your time at all. For two reasons. One, because eventually, He's gonna get out. He's gonna get a better card than this, or there's gonna be another left wing that's gonna have a much better card. As of right now, if you're just going off of the stock cards, like gold cards, even I think you have better options and tradable, so you can get rid of them when you no longer have a use for them in your team. Um, Dembele, who I believe is like 60k, got the same in pace and about the same in dribbling. His shooting is a bit worse, but you can boost that with a chem style and. You can score bangers with cards that don't even have 60 shooting barely, so I think 75 finishing is good enough, especially when you're inside the box and things like that. So that's one option right there. And you also have a more expensive option, but I think a better card. He doesn't have quite as good a pace, but I think he has... I feel like he plays better in every other aspect. He's got better dribbling, he has better passing. His shooting's probably going to feel about the same, but once again, it's even higher than the last cards. And he does manage to have a four star, four star as well. Dembele, I believe, was five star, five star. So you just have these options that are much better for liquid coins that you can just get back out of whenever you're done using the card and things like that. Because you don't want to get stuck down having a faulty card that is stuck in your team forever now. As far as it goes for my team, I could do them if I wanted. It's not terrible because I have some coins. And I do have a lot of League of theme kind of going on on the back line of the this I have it some loans in for objectives and things we're doing with uh, friendlies but uh, we do have this Baron and Gaia and then usually we have Fernando here and then sometimes we have him but now we got Jota so now we're rocking with that so we could just slot him in right there he would stay in there for quite a while probably but I have tried Hazard Hazard was a very good card probably better than Fati card will end up being but nonetheless I think you should just stay away from Fati or unless you're a huge Barca fan or Spain fan, then I guess you could do him. But he realistically already has an 81 in form. His next in form will be boosted as well. So I don't think this is worth your time whatsoever, especially when they don't have good packs coming back either. And I know it's not that hard to piece it together with the 85, 86, and an 83 rated team. But it's just definitely not worth your time. It's too expensive in my opinion. But yeah, that was all I was going to say today. There was another SBC. I already did it. Uh, it's very easy. You can just open some bronze packs if you need a few cards to do it, but burner is blue. You get a nice little pack, and you have potential to pack something great, which I thought was a good SBC. So you at least had something to do today if you didn't want to do Fati, which I think we should all stay away from, but that's just my advice. And thanks for watching. Hopefully you take my advice and stay coin rich throughout the year and keep making coins like me, and we'll see how things go. Thanks for watching.